Check out how I made this amazing falafel kebab dish all on Malto. So guys, um, the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making our falafel. Now falafel, base of a falafel is, is chickpeas. Okay, so now what we have here, we have about 15 ounces drained. What we can actually do is you can actually either um, steam it in Malta or you can also actually bake it in the oven or also pan fry it. Just to start, we are going to add pretty much all of our ingredients into Malto. So we have some flat leaf parsley here, really super important. It's gonna give it some freshness. Now I've got, I only need a couple of tablespoons, okay? Um, we've got too much here. Okay, maybe we can save the remaining for garnish later on. Now we're just gonna drop the parsley into the mixing bowl. We're gonna turbo cook. So on our hub here, we have a turbo function that will allow you to um, really chop things up super, super quickly. So we're gonna unlock the turbo. You're gonna hold it down. Okay, and then it's gonna prompt you actually um, what you need to do. So we need to push the, the control the button. And that's it really super quick and easy so let's just have a look see what it's done to our parsley and then as you see here it's completely processed and blended now what we need to do now is we're going to be scraping down the sides and then we're going to be adding our, our other ingredients okay about 400 grams of chickpeas now if you wanted to, to make this using dry chickpeas you would soak the chickpeas overnight you will then boil the, the chickpeas for about 20 minutes to half an hour. Okay, let it strain it again, and then sort of come, sort of um, just complete that process. Exactly what I'm doing now. Okay, so um, within our chickpeas, that we need a base of flavour. Now, what we have is we have garlic powder, we have cumin, and then we have some um, chili powder. Or even if if you don't like it too spicy, you could also use some smoked paprika as well. Okay. Now we're gonna add some olive oil into it just to give it a little bit of silkiness and smoothness. Some pepper. And then some salt. Not too much salt because usually your chickpeas um, have already been brined. All right, if, if you do use it from, from a can, so you, so you just need to be very careful with that. Now we're gonna attach the lid. We're, we're, we're gonna set it to 30 seconds. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start, and now it's done. Hopefully, we're gonna look into there. Oh, and that's gonna look absolutely fabulous. It smells great. It's slightly wet, but it's actually what we want. If it is a little bit dry, you can get some garam flour, which is what we have here, which is a chickpea flour, uh, effectively, and you can add it into there to kind of loosen it up. So now, what we need to do is we're gonna empty Our falafel mix, we want to shape these into about 16 balls now actually. Um, so what we're gonna do is we have a tray. We're gonna lightly dust the tray with the garam flour, and then we're gonna very carefully roll these into a nice ball. Okay. And then after we've rolled them into a nice ball, we're gonna flatten them, and then we're just gonna lay them on the tray. Okay guys, so I've just finished rolling out the, the 16 falafel and I'm kind of flattening it slightly. Now, what, what we're gonna do is you're gonna sprinkle some of this garam flour over the top to stop it from sticking on the bottom of the actual tray. And actually, ideally, um, what you should do is put it in the fridge for maybe 10 minutes to let it set slightly. So we already have about 20 fluid ounces of, of water in here, about half a quart and then we're gonna um, insert our um, falafel inside our steaming set. We have the, the deep steamer and the shallow steamer. So kind of spread them out nicely. Now, we're gonna put the lid on, the steaming set to the mixing bowl, then we're gonna start. Now, it's gonna ask you if you want to preheat. If you're not using hot water, you would definitely say, yes, please help me preheat. And then what will happen, that will automatically start steaming. Okay guys, so our 10 minutes are up. 
Now, when we're steaming this falafel, okay, there's a really important trick. You need to wait about at least five or 10 minutes for the, for the moisture to kind of um, remove itself from the falafel, and then we should be able to lift it up. So we're gonna remove this, we're gonna let it stand for five or 10 minutes just to dry out the chickpeas a little bit, okay, whilst we move on and make our um, dressing. Okay, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make our tzatziki to go with our falafel kebab. What we're gonna do, again, uh, continuing with this recipe on Molto um, with manual mode, is we're going to um, pulverize our garlic. Now, exactly what we did with our parsley previously, we're gonna set turbo mode. You hold on lock, and then we start. Three seconds. So again, yeah, as you see, it's nicely pulverized. And then we're gonna pretty much add all of our remaining ingredients. We have some cucumbers here that we've actually removed the seeds out of, okay, because um, sometimes there can be too much water in there. Some fresh dill. Again, if, if you can't get fresh dill, okay, you can also use um, dried dill as well, but the fresh does work so well. Cream cheese. Natural Greek yogurts. Make sure you don't get the ones with um, sugar in it. It really doesn't taste right. Okay, and then some salad. And again, all we're gonna do, attach the lid, okay, and then start. So we're gonna have a look at our tzatziki now. But look at that, it looks absolutely beautiful. We have some pitas here with some, with some chopped avocado, onion and tomato in. You can play around with whatever, you know, fillings for your pitas as you wish. But what we're going to do is we're going to pick up pitas. And then we're just going to drizzle some of this lovely sauce over the top. And there we have it. Our beautiful falafel kebab with our very own tzatziki.